Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Porter. This is Winona and Emily Steele's on the camera. We are Facebook Live from the place you sent us to this week, the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. And we're really excited, especially because um, it's a rainy day, so it's a perfect day to go through a museum. I think every day is probably perfect for a museum, but today especially. So we, we're sad that it's rainy though, because we really wanted to show you the grounds a little bit here at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum, because it is situated on this incredibly beautiful little patch of restored prairie that um, has all kinds of beautiful flowers that are fun to stroll around in. And going on the river right now are just uh, huge lines of barges waiting to get loaded up to get sent down river for whatever they get sent um, so we're gonna go in in a second but I think Emily's gonna give you a view of this and I'll just tell you if you come on a Tuesday you can have some wine and hors d'oeuvres uh, throughout the month of September only they do it all summer it's called Mississippi sipping and otherwise you can just come and sit on the benches down there and look at the river and watch the eagles and the herons and the egrets and it's really beautiful so let's go inside and have a look around So we asked Dave Casey if he would just talk to us for a minute, tell us a little bit about what you're gonna see here. We're not gonna take the full tour because it would be like an hour and a half of Facebook Live, <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna breeze through and he's gonna give you just kind of an overview. Dave Casey. Hi, my name is Dave Casey. I'm Assistant Curator of Education and Exhibitions here at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, just a quick overview of the museum before they walk you around. Um, we uh, are a fine art museum located here in Winona on the banks of the Mississippi River. Our overarching theme is great art inspired by water. So as you go through the museum, you'll see that, that water theme uh, prevalent throughout. We have a large historic collection here of European and American masterworks. There's a lot of familiar names you'll see in this museum. Uh, Vincent van Gogh, Claude Monet, Pablo Picasso, Winslow Homer, Mary Cassatt, George O'Keefe, a lot of those names you might know from art history. And our collection is growing uh, all the time. Uh, we have some new works that we're unveiling just this weekend. So next week, when you come back, you'll see something new. Um, we also have a lot of uh, temporary exhibitions. We do um, we do about 10 a year of you know, temporary exhibitions, often featuring uh, contemporary artists. Those change every few months, so you can really come back um, all the time and see something new. Um, right now, we have in our temporary exhibitions, we have an exhibit um, of um, eagle-related items from the National Eagle Center, uh, Preston Cook's collection. Uh, we also have an artist, we're highlighting a uh, young artist named Annie Haney from uh, the Twin Cities. And then we have an exhibit of uh, selections from the collections, which is works uh, from the museum's collections that aren't on display all the time. So it gets the, the chance for those things to come out and people see some old favorites that aren't on display all the time. How many pieces are in that collection? Remind me, like hundreds. Yes, yes. Uh, in, in, the, in the permanent collection, um, or on display, we have probably about 150, 160 pieces, and those change through um, any time. And then there are, there are temporary exhibitions. It all depends on that exhibition and what's on display. Then. And, and what's back behind, I heard once, was something like another 400 pieces yeah, we have, that you can rotate. Yeah, in. we have um, everything that you see, see on display is not everything that the museum has. Right. So there's several hundred more objects um, on in the museum's collection that rotate in for different exhibitions um, that might come out for special occasions, things like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Great. Let's go. <laughs> Enjoy your walk there. Thanks for coming. So, full disclosure, I am a member at this museum. And I'm a member because for an individual it costs 40 bucks. You get invited to cool parties and um, you get notes in the mail about new artwork that comes. You can come in anytime you want, all year long, for free. This is one of the temporary exhibition rooms. This is the one for eagles. We're gonna go through these galleries kind of quick, but we'll show you some of the good stuff. Um, but we're gonna walk back here because I want you to see the view out these windows. Even though it's rainy, oh, and they're kind of rain drippy, sorry. But uh, it's pretty cool. So you can see out those windows, this is really a, still a very busy working harbor on the Mississippi River. And uh, if you're ever wondering how our waterway works, this is a great spot to sit and check it out. I don't know what's going on in this. And 
know you guys like it when I speak up, but I'm not gonna talk really loud because people are enjoying the art. So, this is European art gallery. Some of the greatest painters in the world have their paintings here. One of a kind, I can't imagine what they're worth, but I think it's more than my paycheck for this Facebook Live. Do you ever see a Monet? Want to see a couple? These are all paintings. Like, if you don't have a membership and you just want to come, I think it's um, seven dollars. You can stand this far away from a Monet for seven dollars. So there's a couple. I'll tell you a funny story about one of these. So that's a Picasso. It's about a bullfight. I heard a whole story about it. This one was their first Picasso, and I talked to Mary Bergter, um, one of the um, people who helped found the collection that's on permanent loan to this museum. And the theme at this museum, if you notice as we walk through, Every single piece of art has got a piece of water in it. Every single, I, there used to be maybe one piece that somehow escaped that rule, but otherwise that's the rule for every piece of art is that it has to have some relationship to water. Um, and so they knew that they wanted a Picasso and they looked really hard to find a Picasso that also had a water scene in it that wasn't like just so obscene that they couldn't put it in the museum because Picasso had some weird stuff. So anyway, this is this is what they found. kids uh, there's stuff for them to do too they have like kids days that you can come and bring them for stories and whatnot they have little play areas and books and um, toys and games and they try to keep it interesting for everybody really Story. I was here once photographing an event and uh, the caterer started a small fire on a table in and out in the lobby and I was back in that room and the fire alarms went off and all these doors immediately started to slam shut. Um, it's really a pretty sophisticated museum. I was a little bit scared that I was going to die inside of here but um, it's good to know the art was going to make it. This whole gallery is the Hudson River School. These were painters that were painting in a certain style. They all kind of lived near the Hudson River. That's why it's called the Hudson River School. But uh, I have to tell you, Mary Berkter told me once that this was her favorite piece of art in the entire collection. One of the 
things that was cool about the uh, Hudson River School style. And I don't, I don't know anything about art, but Mary Berger told me this, is that the clouds, the way that they portray light in the sky coming um, with the sun through the clouds and uh, on objects is really what sets it apart as kind of a very special technique with painting. And it hadn't really been done before um, this particular style. of this painting behind me, or actually if you went to school um, and you went to your um, civics classes or your American history classes, you saw this image, no question about it. There's a, a gigantic version of it that hangs in a, uh, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, I believe, in New York. And this is a, a duplicate painting that actually was not a replica of the one in New York. It was painted at the same time. Um, historians have some kind of magic in which they were able to tell that this is called Washington Cross in the Delaware. When it came to Winona, when they unveiled it, magazines all over the world covered that acquisition of this. It used to hang in the White House. So in this gallery, I don't remember what it's called exactly, but I, I, these are American painters. There's a Georgia O'Keeffe in here. That's kind of interesting. And uh, a lot of other paintings from different eras. Um, some of them, I think that there are actually some pieces of art that are um, more recent. I don't mean current, but I mean painted, you know, during the latter part of this century. So. Um, there's something in here really kind of for all tastes, right? I, uh, I prefer the European stuff because uh, I think, I don't know, maybe I just think the name Picasso is cool. But, uh, but if, you, if you like art or history at all, this is really a pretty interesting place to come walk around in. and even to just see not just the mastery of art, but also how were they portraying the world, you know, during the era that they were painting in. And then sometimes you get some revolving exhibitions that are very contemporary. This uh, one I haven't seen yet, but it's all, uh, it's very abstract, beautiful um, portrayals of the essence of water, I guess. to know that this museum also owns an enormous collection of artwork from Leo and Marilyn Smith and they are uh, a local couple that work, works in wood and paint to come up with some really fanciful designs, uh, lots of sculptures and some wall art and things like this. I think a lot of that collection right now um, is put away but it, you can find a few pieces of it still hanging around. It's re if you see that that's going to be on display come see it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I don't, you know, there's like bears playing the drums, I don't know, 
it's, it's some of it's pretty interesting but it's all a lot of fun um, so this is our Facebook live for this week I hope you enjoyed a peek around this museum I think you have to come here for yourself even if you are not you know an, an art nerd I'm sorry um, I think that it's really it's more interesting than people realize uh, notice my shirt this is a new one that the visitor center is carrying um, I'm not sure if you can see it but it says and I don't want her to zoom in on it but it says um, a lot of the different iconic places in Winona it says like the boathouse and Rocco's Pizza and St. Mary's University I can't read upside down so I you know um, but these are for sale in the visitor center I think they might also be in our online store visit Winona.com you can find a link to our online store get your Winona gear cheer gear for Winona and um, also in the comments for this tell us where should we go next week every week we let you vote and then we go and do a Facebook live episode from that location and we're having a lot of fun doing it so far we've been uh, to Blado's Donuts and Sugarloaf and uh, stained glass and now this incredible museum there's a lot left to see though I mean really a lot left to see so we're excited to see what's gonna happen next week and we hope that you vote and tell us have a great week bye